uh, hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video i'm talking about uh, you know how to create virtual machine clone and template on es xi host so guys uh, this is my uh, i mean i think some around uh, 23rd or 24th video or 26th video in this series so in previous video i had uh, discussed about how to you know how to install virtual machine how to create virtual machine on uh, esi ho host and how how to keep it to uh, this san server in this video i'm talking about you know how to make clone of that that virtual machine so my infrastructure is same i have like uh, one active directory v center server two host and one iskg san server so in previous video i told you again i had created one virtual machine on host one which was kept here on this so we will learn in this video how to create a clone so that we can use the, that clone in uh, in future if anything is wrong if something is wrong with the existing machine and why we use uh, like template if required to deploy uh, thousands machine or 500 machines with the same configuration we can do with the help of this template so you should be knowing or uh, you should have the basic idea how we can create it it is not a very big concept so in my previous video what i had done is like i had uh, i had installed server 2016 on on host but in this video uh, i'm i'm showing you windows 7 because i'm running but let uh, running with little with lack of ram so windows uh, 7 is okay with 1 gb and uh, for server at least you require 2 gb or 4 gb so my environment was very uh, dull or uh, very slow so i had removed that and i have installed windows 7 so i will show you demo on that only i hope this video will be informative so let me show you my infra once again this is my computer where i have deployed each and everything so here uh, this is my vcenter this is my vcenter server one host one uh, active directory and this is my iskazi san server so here only let me go to uh, login i have logged in and uh, let me expand this okay so this is like uh, you know this is my san server and this is my v center server okay so this is v center server we have where i have deployed to two host and entire configuration throughout my all the videos okay and if i go to host so i have two host one is host one esxi1 and one is esxi2 and apart from that in last video i had it deployed windows windows, uh, windows server 2016 but i removed that and now i have deployed windows 7 so it is completely deployed uh, as you can see here it is giving you a couple of information in 2000 uh, this uh, this version like uh, 6.7 of uh, ESXi or vSphere they have given a facility to launch it on web base also web, web console they have given so do not need to go to that traditional uh, you know console remote console you can download it if you have internet access uh, but I am using this one only okay so this is a machine what I have deployed and view all IP address I have not given any IP address as of now to this machine and you can monitor all the things from here you can configure couple of things if you want to configure like uh, uh, settings uh, vm sdrs rules uh, v, v app uh, options and couple of things so i'm not doing all those things as of now okay and it is telling permission who has the permission to manage and data stores what are the data stores like like disk where it is kept and all and uh, network so let me show you a couple of more things the basic idea about us uh, about a, about this one and if you go little down you can see a couple of things it is telling you same thing here like you know related objects uh, storage lan1 and lan2 network vm network and this is host i have installed on this host and kept on another kept on this lan okay so both lan or both the disk basically uh, connected to this uh, host okay that is what it is reflecting here apart from this here we have couple of things okay let me just right click on this so you can uh, do couple of things with the power you can shut down you can suspend reset shut down guest and re uh, reset restart a guest operating system apart from this you know guest OS and snapshot you can take if you want to take a snapshot of this machine you can delete uh, delete all the snapshots if you want 
okay and open remote console if you click this then uh, it will it will take you to remote console and uh, let me go back we'll see about that one you can migrate this we will understand this clone in this video and apart from this yes there is a something called which is fault tolerance so turn on fault fault tolerance i will show you in coming up videos and this is like again uh, you know policies we can apply couple of policies template okay we can i uh, will show you here only about this template and uh, these are the you can say property you can you can you can put couple of alarms you can put you can add permission on that particular virtual machine i'm talking about okay and this is here vsan as of now nothing is available here okay alarm you can set permission you can set tag you can uh, you can put tags and all and couple of nodes you can rename you can move one folder to another folder apart from this you know compatibility schedule vm the compatibility upgrade and here yeah, couple of settings you can move from one network to one network to another network you can you can define from here from where it will take i use image or at the time of installation okay couple of things if you see here uh, vm options in previous video also i uh, spoke about the same thing fiber channel advanced uh, settings like disable as acceleration enable logging okay debug lots of things you just uh, you can go through all those things so these are the basic information you have here and uh, let me go back and close this so you can increase or decrease cpu you will have to shut down this machine uh, machine from there you can do it after that you can increase ram hard disk capacity you can increase scsi controller you can change network you can change dvd drive if you go here you will have multiple options so as of now i'm taking that image from here my data store so i have selected this option okay and video card couple of things you can do from here so i'm just closing this and apart from this here this button is like you know shut down and this button is to take uh, i mean launch console and this to take uh, sorry take setting edit settings and this is for uh, take snapshot and you if you click on this section again so it will give you same options what and all i spoke just now okay so here guys let let me just uh, show you one more thing here now if you want to see this uh, you can uh, easily access this uh, this machine what we have created on host so let me just close this one uh, this is the console i have taken okay so i'm just i have just closed that so i will show you how to take console you can take this console i'm using web console okay so i'm just clicking on this and it is asking web console or vmware remote console so i'm going with web console only and click this so it will take you to that virtual machine and my mouse is working if you deploy you won't be able to work properly on this because uh, you need to install vmware tools so i have deployed that vmware tools then only my mouse is working else you cannot move even a bit here then uh, but you need to do it you need to install then only it will work properly yeah, and if you don't install then you will get warning here that uh, vm tool is not installed so uh, you should install then only it will be easy to work okay and now guys this is a very basic thing about it and uh, how to take uh, i mean remote and all if you want full screen it is in full screen only oh let me increase like this still we can increase it okay and uh, like uh, control and delete uh, now i will show you a couple of things okay here let me go to open this property so i have already renamed at the time of installation i gave my bin 7 name to this virtual machine but i have not given any ip address let's see what is the status of ip address this is my but uh, network card and see so as of now i have not given so it is taking a pip a pip ip address okay so i'm just closing it and uh, let me let me go back here and uh, so this is what you can connect you can deploy and uh, i will show you one more thing uh, what is that let me let me go this one uh, host and clusters and uh, let me go to data houses and this is my lun1 and lun0 so that image is kept on this okay uh, let me show you files lun0 this image i took for installation from this this image and when i installed it i kept this this virtual machine hard disk on my another machine 
okay i mean another disk which is lun1 as you can see here this is all configuration of this virtual machine is kept here so this is how we can keep each and everything separate on separate separate drive basically or disk you can say and let me go back here monitor this is lun1 i'm i'm, I'm inside lun1 so I'm, i need to go back and host uh, and cluster so now i'm talking about this virtual machine okay so let me come back here and this is a small console you you are able to see here and uh, see if you click here it is windows it is telling like uh, vmware ev c is enabled okay couple of things so now i will tell you how to take clone first of all so you can click on this and you go you are getting couple of options like clone to virtual machine okay and clone to template so you have two options if you uh, click this clone to virtual machine what will happen you will have to give any name like i'm giving win7 uh win7 i'm giving underscore clone that's it and i have only one data center so i'm keeping there only and it, it it is asking where you want to keep so let me select this option i had little bit more option here so validation is successfully uh, compatibility is successful uh, let's see uh, what what coming next so uh, here is couple this space let's see i have free space 29 gb let's see how much it is required so guys uh, here i don't have enough space okay so i'm not able to keep and if you have a space then zero let me check even here i will not have a space so i'm running with the space and uh, at least i required uh, this much space okay uh, because it is the same image so you just need to do uh, next 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 and uh, it will be saved in that location so due to that i'm not going further so this is basic you need to do at the time of uh, creation uh, creating clone and now next option is like you know which one uh clone to template so clone to template again you can uh, create it like uh, let me see clone to temp i'm giving only this much what i'm getting here again i'm keeping here succeed it again it will come like space problem space issue for me okay i'm just cancelling this one and uh, one more thing here snapshot uh, there should be template option this template option so template we can take when our virtual machine is down so i have not created any clone with due to my you know lack of uh, space so if you want to take template you will have to shut down this virtual machine and if you create uh, that clone that clone will reflect here only so let me shut down this machine i hope you understood the concept of creating clone and uh, let me shut down this virtual machine then only i will be able to take uh, template i will be able to create template so template means like you know if if you required same con uh, same sort of configuration for future to deploy 2000 i mean 1000 2500 uh like you have installed windows i mean certain applications certain features on this virtual machine so you can use the same uh, same uh, template you do not need to create one by one that is the use of creating template so let me shut down this and here power of this virtual machine yes so i i just power shut down this machine and you just you can go now and it is telling you uh, like convert to template so you can click and you can click yes so it is uh, it is gone you will have to find it in inventory okay inventory 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 it is gone that virtual machine uh, will not be reflecting here, uh, ref will not reflect here if you are creating a template of that virtual machine so here uh, you will have to go inventory somewhere uh, what is this uh, no 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 not this this is like uh, something 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 it will come in inventory it will show you uh 
uh, inventory 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 let me go here and find out somewhere it should be VM and templates bin 7 ok so he, this got changed here the icon got changed so you will have to convert it back to uh, your uh, virtual machine so new VM from this template you will have to use or like uh, you can uh, no this one convert to virtual machine second option and uh, next uh, next finish so let me go back to my place host and uh, this thing so as you can see here it came back my virtual machine and if I run it I can power on this machine so this is how you can clone you can create template okay so again if I shut down this virtual machine I won't be able to show it so I I, I, move, I created here I should create here so that's not an issue you can select which one you where you want so let me just uh, power off one, one more time and uh, I want to create one template so it is gone convert to template once again you won't be able to see that virtual machine here it is gone and now if you want again you will have to go to uh, your this option and but uh, like you know templates VM and templates and uh, as you can see here this this is going to be changed it came different here this icon so again either you can use this this is this is for uh, creating a console and once again if you want a new new machine with the same template you will have to use this option and if, if you want from here you just click and if you want this data center data store basically and click and yes finish so it will come back to that location and just go back and uh, bin 7 here it, it got changed okay and uh, now no 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 you can run this virtual machine so this is how the basic demo in this video I tried to explain it with you guys. I hope it is helpful for you guys and if it is helpful don't forget to subscribe my channel, comment on this video, share this video and next video I will be talking about some other other features of uh, vCenter server how we can use like if you if you click on this uh, there are a couple of things like you know new virtual machine I spoke about we will see like you know something something clustering is there one option. So in that I will show you how to use clustering and all. So guys till then bye bye have a nice time and don't don't forget to hit like and comment, comment.